Hi, theater addict. This is a moving little segment for you. I'm running almost late for my next show, but I think it should just be in front of me here. I'm on my way to see the bridge. Um, I'm excited. It is at Studio 16. It should be an interesting uh, experience. I will let you know how it is. And as always, feel free to comment afterwards. Hi, theater addict. I'm here in uh, in Studio 16. The show's about to start in about three minutes. Uh, I just wanted to tell you that uh, it's by Green Eggs and Ham Productions, and it's starring a whole cast here. We've got uh, Caitlin Docking and Nick Rinke. There's also directors and stage managers, but luckily they have a program, so you can check that out if you can see it. I'll see you after the show. Hi, theater addicts. Um, I just finished The Bridge, and I'm a little bit conflicted about how I feel. I feel like I felt too many emotions. I'm on my way back to Granville, so you're gonna have a nice bridge framing here. Um, the bridge was, it was beautifully written. It, was, it seemed like it was a dual story at first, and then the uh, two narratives merged seamlessly and you kind of uh, saw it coming. The end seemed inevitable, and I won't make much of a spoiler about that, but it was, it was really touching. Um, I felt like, here's the see scene to you in as abstract a way as I can put it. Uh, the show was like Castaway, okay? It was if Tom Hanks was two people and he had no volleyball whatsoever. Wilson was not in the picture. And he was also in a post-apocalyptic uh, dystopian world. <laughs> That's pretty much the synopsis of the show. So if you like dystopias, if you enjoy movies like Castaway, then this show would really ring true with you. Uh, it's a very well written, and I kind of felt that throughout the show, the show was a lot about loss. And if you uh, watch the show, you would realize that throughout the show, you lose something all the time. So I don't know how to expand on that properly, but you lose props, you lose fantasy, you lose illusion, you lose all these kinds of things that you didn't know you could lose throughout a show. You lose the humor even by the end. And so uh, I would suggest, I definitely highly recommend it. It was beautifully written, but it is more serious and I would uh, urge you to go with, uh, with, with uh, ready to smile, but also maybe ready to cry. All right, this is gonna be a multi-location <laughs> review for you. It's gonna take me a long time to digest this show. I feel like there's a lot of emotion to kind of go through, a lot to think back on and a lot to kind of try and remember. Um, if I have to pick a drawback for the show, I guess really for me the one thing that stood out as a bit of a drawback was that there was some physicality involved in the actors and the way they acted, but uh, the one was supposed to have a bit of a limp. And throughout the show she loses that a few times, but I think the emotion of the show and the way that they act kind of overshadow that completely. Uh, the other drawback for me, I guess in a way, it's not really a drawback, it's just that there was, like it really was quite a sad show and it kind of leaves you suspended in a way. It kind of makes you feel like you're not entirely sure what the ending's supposed to hold. Um, we'll head on to our next location for the rest of this interview. I'm Anina, I just saw The Bridge at Studio 16. Um, it's by the production company Green Eggs and Ham. If you enjoy our videos or would like to subscribe, add anything, anything like that, feel free to comment. Um, you can also find us at theateraddicts.com. And don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day.